Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on bearings. So a bearing is a way of expressing the angle between two objects or uh, it's a way of expressing the location of an object geographically in relation to the north line. Uh, so the first of our three rules is that we always measure bearings from the north line. Uh, the second is that we always measure bearings as a three digit bearing. So if this angle here was 50 degrees uh, we wouldn't write the bearing as 50 degrees, we'd write the bearing as 0, 050 0 degrees. And then the final rule is that we always measure counter, sorry, clockwise from the north line. So if this was uh, our bearing, we'd go clockwise uh, to give the angle rather than measuring this uh, obtuse angle, which would be counterclockwise from the north line. Now you may be asked to draw a bearing or measure a bearing in an exam. Uh, and if you ask to measure a bearing, then just make sure you use a protractor to measure the angle. So let's take a look at an example question now. Uh, so in questions to do with bearings, it's useful to have a good knowledge of the angles in parallel lines and the rules that go with them, uh, because uh, w when we use bearings, we're measuring from the north line and the north lines are always parallel. Uh, so let's look at this example now. So the diagram below shows the bearing of B from A. Find the bearing of A from B. Uh, so as I say, uh, we're dealing with two parallel lines here. Uh, so 94 degrees, the bearing of B from A, and this angle here, uh, let's call it X. Uh, these are known as co-interior or allied angles. And the rule for co-interior or allied angles is that they add up to 180 degrees. Uh, so 94 plus X equals 180 degrees. Uh, so if we want X, uh, we just do 180 minus 94 and that equals 86 degrees. So that's this angle X, uh, but the question wants us to find the bearing of A from B. Uh, now, if you remember, the rule and rule number three was that we always measure from the north line uh, going clockwise. So we want this angle here, which is the reflex angle, and we've got the acute angle. Uh, so we need to find uh, this angle here. So to do that, uh, we use the rule of angles around a point add to 360 degrees. So the bearing of A from B is 360 degrees minus X. Uh, so that's 360 minus 86. And that gives us a value of 274 degrees. So bearings is definitely a skill that takes some practice and you can do that with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. So if you take the exam, you'll find a number of different questions. Uh, there's a variety of different question types. So some are multiple choice. Some allow you to just put an answer straight in like so. Uh, and the best part is everything's marked instantly. So you get feedback straight away. And that's really useful if you want to keep track of the areas that you need to improve at. So if you're interested, you can click the link below. It'll take you straight there.